We're making a really thick kefir today. Yeah, I left these out all night. I use a three to one grain ratio. Three parts milk, one part grains, which is about a half a cup each of these jars. Typically only takes about four to five hours to ferment at 70. Uh, I left them out for oh, about seven, seven to eight hours. Separated real clearly. And then I put them in the refrigerator about five o'clock this morning, six o'clock this morning, and it's noon, so they've been in the refrigerator for another six hours, and then it's separated fully the rest of the way into the bottom. What I like to do is take out, depending on how, how you want it to be, I'll probably dump about half the way out, maybe more. I'll just dump out what comes out clean, and then when it starts to get mixed in, I'll stop. And then that'll be a really thick kefir. I'm gonna pour out the whey from these and we'll see how thick it is. Well, the whey's coming up already. There's on my way. I'll pour it out right through that channel. It starts coming out cloudy. It's good enough. It's gonna be a really thick kefir. I got enough whey in there to thin it down some. That one's ready to pour out. That's pretty good. Still have some in there so it's easier to strain and not super thick. Put some of this to the side in case I want to put a little bit more of it back in with the first one poured out. Alright, I've got those separated out. Oh, to mention, uh, this is with raw whole milk. And here's the raw milk. That I've got. Oh, I haven't stirred it up yet. Ooh, that is a thick cream on there. That tastes like vanilla ice cream. This cream is amazing. Just straight up, it's like vanilla ice cream. It's, it's the best, it's the best thing you ever tasted. All right, here's the second one. I had a, left a little bit more whey in here. All right, got that one done. All done. What I like to do actually is just snack those little pieces of kefir right back into the kefir. I actually like those little chunks. Just little tiny pieces give you a little uh, burst of flavor every once in a while. So I just tap it in. Alright, here we go. Really nice kefir. If you want a little thicker, take more of the way out. If you want it a little bit thinner, you leave some more of the way in. I took a little bit more way out than I really needed to this time. Because on the second ferment, it really thickens up. And this is going to stay real bubbly. It becomes almost like it gets so fluffy. It's like a, a whipped cream, like a milkshake, a frothy milkshake. And you don't have to mix it or nothing. It just does that. That's just how it is. It's like a frothy milkshake already. And this tastes great right now. After another day, it just gets even frothier and thicker. I use the 3 to 1 grain ratio. 
short ferment times, depending on the temperature, about uh, three to six hours. And strain it out, second ferment, one day in the fridge. Turns out absolutely fabulous for me. Every time. If it goes too far, separate it out whatever way I want. It tastes great. I don't know. When it separated to way before, it was never good. It was always using a lot of grains in your milk. Really just makes it good every time, no matter what. Enjoy. Happy keeperin'.